Man witnesses explosion in Starbucks drive-thru. While waiting in the Starbucks drive-thru to pick up his morning coffee, one man witnessed a large explosion. His dash cam caught it all on camera. In the video, a roof can be seen completely blowing off of a building across the street from the Starbucks. Debris flies up into the air and out into the street. Police later would find debris more than 100 yards away from the explosion site. Four men were inside the building at the time of the explosion, and luckily they all survived, despite being severely injured. It's unclear what the cause of the explosion was. Man gets out of car at wit's end. Sometimes lions don't move quite as quickly as you'd hope. For most people, this is fine. This is a mild inconvenience at worst. However, this man climbs out of his car and begins screaming into the air, asking for help from the sky. The video is called Guy on Drugs Screaming at McDonald's drive through It's hard to know precisely why he begins screaming for help and then just suddenly climbs back into his car. Cry for help or just a really bad trip? Either way, if I was behind him, I'd definitely be reconsidering whether I really need the McDonald's or not at this point. This man is off it. What the f is going on with this guy? Subway Robbery Subdued now onto the topic of things that would definitely kill your appetite. A gun might do it. This Subway restaurant operates business as usual, serving its customers one after the other. It's a typical day in Oklahoma City. However, the man in the green shirt makes his way down to the counter, hopping over and approaching the young-looking workers. They quickly descend to the ground as the man is armed and presumably dangerous. That's the best course of action for anyone working in food or retail because no job is worth laying down your life for, not for probably about 10 or $11 an hour. Firing off in a drive through The least stressful thing anyone should have to deal with on a daily basis is grabbing food. It's a quick in and out, grab your meal, and head home. The drive through is pretty self-explanatory, but things can arguably still go very wrong. When this customer drove up to the window, no one could have expected what was going to happen. It starts like any other transaction, with a car pulling up to the window. You might even miss what happened if you watch this clip without paying attention. They receive their food and disperse it to the passengers before the driver pulls a firearm out and discharges it into the drive-up window. Quickly, the suspect makes his way out of the scene and drives off. One of the employees was injured by the altercation, but it's unclear whether something set the group off or if this was just another run-of-the-mill encounter gone wrong. The truth is, this happens more often than not. Fast food establishments are targeted, and the locations hit up by people looking to get as much as they can get out of it. Fast food places don't carry very much money, but they're also understaffed and easy to target. These thieves thought they had the right plan, steal a car and then hit up a fast food drive through Upset customer throws food at Starbucks. Most people file a complaint with the corporation when they're unhappy with their customer service experience at a store or restaurant. However, this lady in this video took a different route. After getting upset with the workers at Starbucks, this woman started to take the grab-and-go food items off the shelves of the counter and throw them on the ground. <laughs> Miami Beach Holdup You don't go to the Sunshine State expecting to witness a robbery, and yet it happens in Florida just like anywhere else. The woman at the counter pays for her food without issue before a second man comes up, waving a gun in the cashier's face. Oh, no, no. The woman quickly backs up, getting out of the man's way, which is the best thing that can be done. He's practically climbing over the counter as the cashier complies with his requests. When the register is yanked out of the drawer, they clear it into his bag. The thief is threatening him, making sure he's giving him everything. The cashier explains that he's just working, but the thief doesn't seem to want to listen. Eventually, the cashier returns and uses the store phone to call the police. This has not been his day, and if I were him, it would likely be my last day at a place like this. I think you need to come quick. I just got robbed. 
Yes, I just got robbed. You need to come quick. You got somebody has to come quick. A man put a gun in my face and he made me take everything out of the register. You have to come quick today now. Murder suspect caught over Karen call. Luckily, sometimes dangerous criminals are stupid. It seems insane to say, but authorities were called by an upset customer and ended up catching a murderer in the process. Kennesaw police went to this McDonald's to calm down a rapidly escalating situation like any Karen-esque situation. The man who called came up, complaining to the cops that the fries he'd gotten were cold and he wanted a refund. You know, I try to fry the fries. Are, they're lukewarm, but they're not hot. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I just asked him, can we get some fresh, fresh fries? Okay. He said, okay, the fries are not hot. Touch the fries. I said, no, they're not hot. And at this point, you don't touch them, so, you know, yeah. yeah, can I just get a fresh set? You can leave my property. Get off my property now. Or you can come and get, uh, I do a refund. I say, sir, with, with um, cash up card, this three to seven business days to do a refund. He was kicked out of the establishment when he pitched a fit and decided to escalate further. The police officer, just doing his job, asks for the victim's ID. He refuses, but tells his name instead. Do you have your ID on you? No, sir. Okay, well, I'm going to have to get your information. Okay. Uh, what's your last name? Uh, Sam. After a quick touch base with the manager, the police officer rejoins the man outside and is quickly forced to call for backup. The body cam catches as he realizes just who he's got his hands on. Presumed armed, dangerous, and wanted for alleged murder. Ten four six two Kennesaw. It looks like we just found the same ID. You go ahead and confirm that. He'd hit the jackpot. All thanks to one person deciding to be a Karen over some cold French fries. Arson at Starbucks. In this video, police and firefighters have blocked off a city street because a Starbucks is caught on fire. The fire is big enough to have the police block off the entire street and not allow any traffic through. What's on fire? The fire was allegedly started by a homeless man who broke into the Starbucks, poured gasoline all over the shop, and lit the shop on fire while he was still inside. Firefighters were able to get the man out of the shop before he was killed. However, he was rushed to the hospital after suffering severe burns. Fortunately, no one else was in or near the Starbucks. 2 a.m. McDonald's drive through No one wants to deal with dangerous situations at work. The McDonald's had the ultimate bad day as they realized this was not a normal night. Suddenly, seemingly out of nowhere, a sedan flies through the wall and into the lobby. It's lucky that the lobby and seemingly the rest of the restaurant were empty. No one got hurt, except the person in the car, most likely, because it was 2am and luckily no one spends much time at a McDonald's that late. I can't imagine sitting through the rest of my shift after something like that. Do you think they got to go home? Man sets Starbucks on fire. This video was taken by security cameras inside a Starbucks. In the video, a man wearing a ski mask and all black clothing to hide his identity breaks into a Starbucks in the middle of the night. He takes a carton of gasoline and pours it all over the store. Then he lights it on fire and leaves. The man was later captured by police and admitted to having been the perpetrator of five other counts of arson at other stores such as Old Navy. During his plea agreement, the man ended up admitting to having been involved with nine other counts of arson as well over the course of ten nights. There was no clear reason as to why the man was doing this, but it's a good thing the police caught him. He was able to do so much damage in such a short amount of time. If he hadn't been caught, there could have been so much more damage and potential injuries. He truly was a threat to society. Subway Inferno We've seen a few bad days, but this is on another level. Imagine going off for lunch, pulling up to your neighborhood subway, only to be greeted with an inferno. This clip is particularly insane, seeing how far progressed the fire had seemed to progress before the authorities made their way out to tame it. The flames had more than engulfed the location several times over. As you watch the clip, it starts falling apart, crumbling as the structural damage gets too much to handle. The clip ends abruptly, but there's some faint sounds of sirens in the back. Help was on the way. black men arrested at Starbucks. In this video, two black men are handcuffed, arrested, and escorted out of a Starbucks. The video is disturbing because the men who were interviewed after the incident had met at the Starbucks to have a business meeting over coffee. What did they get called for? Because there are two black guys sitting here meeting me? Yeah. When police arrived, the two men were shocked to find that the police were there to arrest them. The men had done nothing but order coffee and sit down at the shop. One of the customers had been uncomfortable with the black men sitting in the Starbucks and called the police on them. 
two gentlemen in my cafe that are refusing to make a purchase or leave. Um, I'm at the Starbucks at 18th and Spruce. All right, please, I'll be out as soon as possible. It's pathetic that the men were still arrested, even though it was obvious to everyone else that they hadn't done anything to warrant an arrest. Traumatizing shift at McDonald's. You never expect to go into a shift and be faced with horrifying expectations, be those a long shift or a dangerous abuse. Under the guise of being a police officer, this young worker at McDonald's was coerced into stripping down and sitting in the manager's office for three hours by her manager. She covered herself in an apron, but no one knew what was happening. She was passed off between managers, only given some of the information and told to do increasingly insane tasks, like jogging in place, bending over, and a lot more. Her manager only knows some of what's going on as she has to continue and leave and run the store in the midst of all this. It takes a maintenance worker to finally put his foot down and refuse to comply, which reveals everything that's gone on in the office. Finally, they call the police and the worker is released from their torment. Exorcism at Starbucks In this bizarre video, a Starbucks customer films a group of men sitting in front of the store and performing an exorcism. Out! All your legions of poison! All your legions of poison! Out! Go to that head right now, all your legions of poison. All your legions of poison. Out of the pit, spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Three men are performing an exorcism on one man sitting in the middle of them. The men are chanting and speaking in Latin, while the man they're exorcising is spitting in a Starbucks cup repeatedly. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ, you have no legal ground to be in here. You have no legal ground to be in here. You have to leave. You can't trespass on the cross. You can't trespass on the cross. The guy filming didn't realize that he was going to get coffee and a show when he showed up to this Starbucks. We just touch him with the love of Jesus. Just we just touch him with the love of Jesus right now. The love of Jesus to tear out. Denial, Shameless Donation Box Thief Those little charity boxes at McDonald's are usually tied down, but there had to be enough situations to necessitate that sort of action in the first place. This man, seemingly shameless in his actions, makes his way up to the Poppy Charity Collection Box and casually unties it. He slips the box under his coat, obscuring it, and leaves the restaurant. It's unclear how much money the man made with donations as those boxes are rarely counted. It likely wasn't a massive amount, but given the speed and confidence in which he does it, it doesn't seem like this is the first time he's done it. A Creepy Crawly Discovery The last thing you want to find when you're grabbing lunch is a creepy crawly friend. It happens every once in a while, but that doesn't make it any more comforting to see it caught on tape. This is a short clip, but it gives a full view of what many people might consider their worst nightmare. Above the soda machine, a not-so-welcome friend crawls by, making its path over the soda labels. The clip was then sent to a local news station to help bring awareness to the glaring food safety violation that could very well make people sick. This would be enough to put anyone off at a local establishment, but unless you go inside, you might never catch something like this. drive through customers would never even know. Isn't that terrifying? McDonald's Looting A large group of people can be dangerous, especially when people are all fired up and surrounded by people encouraging their behavior. This McDonald's in Nottingham was on the receiving end of one such crowd, with people jumping on the counters and pushing each other around. The employees in the back seem not to know how to respond. In fact, they watch in what looks like abject horror, or as one man in the back proves, complete disregard for what's going on. Police use the clip to study the mob after this crowd looted and stole from the McDonald's. I think no matter how hungry I am, I'd turn around and walk back out if I saw this. Starbucks employee finds hidden camera in the bathroom. When a Starbucks employee was using the bathroom, she noticed a phone charger plugged into the wall. She grabbed it and realized that it was actually a pinhole camera disguised as a charger. She showed it to her co-workers and the baristas decided to call the police. I am jumping up and down once I found out that it was a camera. My co-workers and I have our jaws dropped. We can't believe that this is what was found. The police reviewed Starbucks security footage and determined that the owner of the camera may have been a man who was lurking around the bathroom suspiciously before he ordered a drink and left. The police put his pictures out in the media and the man brought himself in, saying he was innocent. While police were interrogating him, they'd been able to obtain a search warrant and a few went to his house to see if they could find any other recording devices. I mean, I just... I can't admit that I did that. We're not going to find similar recording devices in your house. No. We're not going to find any of them. When they went through the man's garbage, they found tons of other secret recording devices. The man was arrested for his crimes. Next time you're in a Starbucks bathroom, make sure to check and see if you're being watched. 
Parkland shooter hangs at McDonald's afterwards. This clip differs slightly from the others, but only because context matters. This came up during the testimony from the Parkland shooting trials, and the clip shows nothing but a man in a booth at McDonald's. Anyone watching this without context might just see a young man on the phone. Knowing the events that had just transpired gives this clip a terrifying edge, knowing just how cavalier he is. The shooter is on the phone, calling up a friend and asking for a ride home, right after shooting at Parkland. The clip is mostly slow and not very much happened, but imagine coming across this clip without realizing who you're seeing. Terrifying since he's acting so normal through it. Freak Accident and Lightning Strike Not all crazy fires are a criminal act. Sometimes it's just a freak accident. Imagine being on your lunch break and seeing your local restaurant struck by a freak bulk of lightning. It begins burning the building with a thick plume of smoke rising. Not quite as much fire as the last one, but this one certainly has potential. Thankfully, it looks like the area has been cleared out and the people are safe, but still not an ideal situation for anyone. Woman Vandalizes Starbucks During a peaceful Black Lives Matter protest, one black woman noticed a white woman spray painting and vandalizing a Starbucks. The white woman was spray painting BLM and other phrases related to the movement on the walls of the Starbucks. This is not a black woman who's putting Black Lives Matter. I just want you to know that when... Right, but y'all y'all doing that for us and we ain't asking you to do that. Listen. The black woman told her to stop because people were going to assume that a black person vandalized the Starbucks when the black people were actually protesting peacefully. News, come on. They gonna say we did that. We didn't do that. Stuff like this ain't right. The white woman said she got permission from another black person to do that and walked away angrily. Don't, don't, don't spray stuff out here when they gonna blame black people for this and black people didn't do it. The black woman got extremely upset and talked about how protesters are getting pepper sprayed by police because police think that the protests are becoming violent. When in reality, non-black people are the ones doing the vandalism. You got police officers coming to a peaceful protest spraying gas on us. We ain't even did nothing. Don't let the media fool you. When they see the vandalism on these places, know that it wasn't us. She just didn't want black people being blamed for the vandalism because it didn't help the movement. And even though the graffiti says BLM, the woman who wrote it is a huge part of the problem. We don't need nobody to do nothing for us. That's why we out here doing it ourselves. Worms in a sandwich. Sometimes your food is a little more alive than you want. These concerned patrons make their displeasure known in the best way possible. This clip catches the moment they realize the sandwich they clearly just finished was infested with none other than worms. There's three freaking worms in there, man. Come on, like my wife's pregnant, she's eating your I, shit. I apologize, sir. I really do apologize. Uh, this isn't my store. I'm just here for a minute. I do apologize. I'm going to take a picture of it for my bosses. I will give you your money back. Oh, uh, do you have your receipt so I know which one it is? The manager in turn told them not to cause a scene. At the end of the day, a food service employee at any level will probably not care. No matter how gross it is, not everyone will react exactly the same. Sir, you don't need to be causing a scene. I'm just, hey, my wife is pregnant. She first just all, ate one. Sir, let me tell you what, these worms are first of all not harmful. How do you know? Because first of all, um, we you, know these kind of worms, they're, fr they're from vegetables, okay? But they're not harmful. <laughs> if you keep hey, making I'll, a scene, I'm going to make you leave with I'll, I'll call the cops and, and tell them what kind of food you guys are serving. Cops can't do anything, sir. Well, I'm going to file a report. Manager stumbles into bucket of hot oil. There's a reason that operating procedures and safety protocols exist, and one of those is to keep workers safe. While one McDonald's worker was cleaning out the boiling hot oil from the fryers, a manager walked by. The camera catches the moment as she reaches over to presumably check something. Unfortunately, whatever she's checking goes by the wayside because a mess on the floor causes the woman to slip and fall. The bucket of hot oil on the floor is caught in the crossfire and pours all over her. The man tries to reach down and see if she's okay, but it's too late. The fryer oil boils at insane temperatures, meaning this woman likely took the full brunt of that burn, which will severely disfigure or scar her for some time. Luckily, it seems like only half the bucket pours out before she's able to get away to safety. Not quickly enough to avoid pain or anything, but quickly enough that she scurries off camera to seek medical attention. Troubling Discovery the first half of this video is emergency services, officers, and firefighters gathering at a scene. Someone called 911 to report a man passed out in his car near a McDonald's drive through As officers arrived at the scene, the man is slumped over in his car, buckled in, and knocked out. He obviously had quite a bit too much to drink, passed out with his foot on the brake and a foam in his hand. They placed cars in front and behind the car because the car was still placed in drive, so removing him could mean the car going off on its own. 
Using a tool, they break open the car window, smashing it and giving them quick access to the vehicle. Luckily, none of their emergency tools were needed in the extraction. The man, while slow to stir, generally seemed pretty ready to get up and follow them. He seemed a bit drowsy, but who knows how long he'd been out for. Subway Rat Infestation That doesn't mean it might not be something else if it's not worms. After hours of this subway, concerned passerby caught the moment where a rat scurried across the floor. That might have been disgusting, but as the person continues to film, things get worse. It's unclear if it's just the two, or if there might be other rats within the establishment. This place is filthy or has some sort of hole the rodents are going through. Either way, it's best to say you might not want to grab any size sandwich half or foot long from this subway located in downtown Boston. The sandwiches might be cheap, but that's hardly the real cost now, is it? Woman finds lizard in her Starbucks coffee. When one woman went to get her usual coffee order from Starbucks, she was surprised to find an extra ingredient. As she took her first sip of coffee, the woman felt something other than the drink enter her mouth. She spit out the drink only to find that she had just almost drunk a lizard. It was just, it was so gross knowing that it was in my mouth. The woman was so disgusted that she took a picture of it and then took her drink and the lizard back into the Starbucks to show the workers. The workers said that they'd never seen anything like it before and promised that they'd been diligent about cleaning the shop. I was like, oh my god. You know, and it was in my mouth and I almost was going to swallow it. Starbucks made a statement as well saying that they'd be looking into the incident and making sure that the store was up to code. It's safe to say that the woman who almost drank the lizard will be finding a new place to get her morning coffee. Florida woman has meltdown in McDonald's. We hear stories about Florida men all the time, but this Florida woman took things to the next level. She was asked to pull forward, which queued up a significant meltdown. She comes storming into the building, screaming at the people working. She claims that they were trying to cheat her out of her money, screaming for a refund. She eventually calls 911, explaining she's being stolen from, that she's pregnant and just wants her money back. I'm at McDonald's. I'm five months pregnant. These people don't know how to run a McDonald's. Come on. I want my money. They trying to they trying to cheat me out my money. I want my money. I'm pregnant. I want my money. They trying to they trying to cheat me out my money. I want my money. She's so angry she storms off, but not in the way you'd expect. The woman turns around and begins twerking in the doorway, which she has to be escorted out of, causing quite the scene with her behavior. It's such a roller coaster of events that it's not entirely clear how we got there in the first place. Teens laugh after deadly attack. Another clip where content absolutely depends on context. These men made their way into a McDonald's and by the looks of it, the clip is completely normal. CCTV shows a bunch of men laughing around in a McDonald's right after a deadly attack on a local teen. Right after their attack, it seems they made their way for a bite to eat at McDonald's as if they hadn't just committed a violent crime. The casualness in which they can continue to conduct themselves is chilling, like what they've done doesn't even entirely register, or maybe it's just an everyday occurrence. Surveillance catches robbery in Houston. Going to work should be the most routine thing about your day. Unfortunately for this subway employee, that couldn't have been farther from the truth. From what seems like out of nowhere, these robbers come running in hot. One of them comes running in, immediately jumping and clearing the counter in just a few steps as his second person comes in much slower behind him. He takes his time, picking things up from the floor. One of the hostages throws his phone and belongings onto the ground, complying quickly. He then turns his gun to the people behind the counter, and a third person walks in as his backup. Their whole system feels smooth, like they've definitely done it before. The one who jumped across the counter climbs back, sliding over the glass, and once they've gotten all the money they can, the group leaves. Customer squeezes in a burglary. If you're not dealing with one kind of crazy messed up scenario in food service, it's another. While it was unattended, this woman squeezed through the window. It begins with a cup and a drink, but quickly escalates. She's bold at this point, climbing fully into the store to grab whatever she wants. With her shirt pulled up over her head, she thinks she's home free, but fumbles at the last moment, dropping a box of food stuff before she's able to shove it out the window. This proves to be only a moment's holdup as she picks it up quickly and hands it to an accomplice waiting for her thieving out in the car. Bug zap her over the counter. When you're enjoying your lunch, the last thing you want to see is your server battling insects. While doing his job, this server created the least pleasant dining experience. He likely had no clue he was being filmed, but the video went ultra viral online because no one wanted to see that. Using a handheld bug zapping device, the service worker swats away flies and gnats over the food. Admittedly, this is allowable. Fly zappers of this kind, however, are not. Most food service places tend to have some insects going on, it's just not that common to catch on camera. Crash visit at the local subway. 
Work is always eventful. No matter what food establishment you work at, there will always be something. Based on the beginning of this clip, it seems like a regular, run-of-the-mill shift at the local subway. A few of the workers are making their way out. The clip cuts outside and we see it looks normal there too. Until, of course, one of the cars takes a sharp left. The car makes its way nearly entirely into the side of the building as a crowd amasses around the crash site. The manager comes running, swerving through the group to help the person in the vehicle. This wasn't his day, but at least he acted quickly. Bunny and Clyde at the subway. In the middle of the night, there's no one there to stop you from breaking into an establishment to clear out the register. That's at least what this couple realized and quickly realized how much crime would pay them. This pair of burglars broke into their local Oklahoma City subway and crouched over, avoiding detection as they cleared the register. It seems though that one robbery wasn't enough for them. A few hours later, they returned as they did before, double tapping the location. However, their second stop is pulling the safe out of the restaurant, inadvertently leaving the evidence the police might have needed. They catch their faces on camera, especially the woman who looks directly at it. This subway will at least be able to get some justice. Window Creeping Burglar Sometimes McDonald's deals with more than its fair share of hamburgers, this one in particular getting away with thousands when no one was looking. They climb through the window, seemingly unannounced, quickly making their way to the safe. They climb into the window, steal the money, and run out the back door, all in about the span of four minutes. This clean burglary managed to slip in and out, undetected, without involving a single worker. Though you do have to wonder why no one at any point caught or tried to stop the intruder. Did everyone go on the break at the exact same time? Fast Food Earthquake Ideally, if you ever faced with an earthquake, you'll be able to get somewhere safe. Back home, ideally, or somewhere where you can protect yourself from falling objects. This YouTuber caught the earthquake shaking the McDonald's he was in beneath his feet, capturing the moment as the foundation and fixtures began to sway and shake on video. Do you think you could keep it together, exposed and in public like this? How would you handle this situation? Trash bread at the subway. You trust food to be taken care of when you buy it from a restaurant. This place, however, seems to want to prove otherwise. The subway manager is caught on camera rummaging through the trash to pull out a loaf of bread. A concerned employee captured the horrifying, disgusting moment on camera and the manager can be heard saying that they're short on bread. It's loaded on the cart and brought to the floor to be sold as if it's brand new and not totally gone wrong. The footage was shown to the Rugby Council, who sent an environmental health officer to inspect the location. Of course, as you can probably guess, the manager was interviewed and the inspection revealed several food hygiene issues across the board. You just never know what you'll get regarding fast food. Thief mangles a register. This thief makes their way into the clearly closed subway and doesn't seem very certain about it. Constantly looking over their shoulder, the helmeted criminal struggles for a while at the register. At most, we're looking at about a two dollars to $300 haul, but it seems worth it for this petty thief. They use a screwdriver to pry the register open, breaking the mechanisms as much as possible, all while not entirely trusting that they aren't being watched. Their movements become frantic as they can't pry the drawer open without significant effort. It's good to note that this takes place around 4 a.m., meaning every little noise would seem extremely loud. They pry it out after a few minutes, yanking out the entire box to get better leverage on the drawer to pull it open. Time is ticking and every second counts. Eventually, the thief takes this whole thing, disconnecting it from the machinery and lugging it out the door. Imagine being the opening shift after this happens. The shift probably wouldn't even know what happened at that point, though, I suppose. No business if there's no register. Raging McDonald's Fire Rarely do you get to see something as unmistakable as a McDonald's on fire. No matter where the clip catches, the fire is raging way over the roof of the building. No matter how large the crew is, it's almost impossible to see through the plume of smoke. The men crawl into the building, seemingly to continue combating the fire. In situations like this, it seems the best that even professionals can do is just contain it. After a while, the building seems to be melting. The iconic M is broken and the flames are raging through the roof of the building. It quickly spreads, engulfing parts of the building that weren't originally on fire. Firefighters struggle against this raging fire as it continues to fall apart in front of them. The 
This fire was started in an act of arson at 4 in the morning, and it took the first unit about 8 minutes to get on the scene, in which time there was more than enough to ravage the building. Starbucks is robbed. In this video, a man came into a Starbucks with a weapon and ordered the baristas to give him all the cash they had. As soon as he enters the shop, he waves his weapon around and orders all the customers to get on the ground. He then points his weapon at the baristas and orders them to empty their till, put the money into the bags, and give it to him. The robber is wearing all black with a hooded mask over his face, hiding his identity. Someone outside the Starbucks had seen the robber go into the store with a weapon and called the police. He said there's a guy with a gun inside the store. The baristas fill up the few bags with money from their tills and hand it to the robber. The bags aren't sturdy enough to carry the heavy tills and they break open, causing the money to fall to the floor. The robber frantically picks up the money and puts it into a stronger garbage bag and then leaves the store. By the time he leaves the store, police are well on their way. The police see the robber fleeing the scene, running down the sidewalk. They chase him down, capture him, and arrest him. Thankfully, no one was injured during the robbery, and police said it was really good that all the customers and baristas listened to the robber's orders, because if they hadn't, it could have cost them their lives. Cash Delivery Robbing The money in a shop has to come from somewhere. In most food service establishments, that usually comes in the form of an armored van or someone coming in ready to earn the money. This clip starts off normally with the driver making their way into the shop and quickly making their way out. However, when he goes outside, someone comes running out of nowhere and the clip shows them taking the driver down and stealing the money. This CCTV clip shows up during a string of Liverpool cash van robberies, just one of the many clips exactly like this. Given the age and quality of the clip, it's not entirely sure if the person was caught or if it was even possible to cash them in what looks like worse than 480 pixels. Subway Screaming Match It's not just thieves and vermin that can plague your subway, sometimes it's the patrons. This older man went in for a pack of cookies from his local subway, only to come in hot over the price. The advertised price is $5 for a pack of 12 cookies. That price actually comes out to $5.50, plus 45 cents to tax. When the cashier tries to explain that, the old man repeatedly gets upset, pointing to the sign and saying the price is wrong. Truthfully, the advertised price is wrong, but it's a 50 cent difference. The manager tries to mitigate the disturbance, but he's already heated. The old man starts yelling, and the cashier eventually offers a refund. You want your money back? Yeah, yeah. Stay with us, dude. Okay. Then I will give you your money. But that's all I can do. Well, you better change your sign because you're lying to your customer. No, not. Okay. <laughs> Damn, sure. Can you get out of my store, please, sir? We can't control this, sir. We just work here. We can't control this. I'm not just a customer. Is that $5? Can you please just go? We don't have no control of what it is. I gave you your money back. Can you please just go? The old man agrees but claims that they're lying to the customers. Should the sign have said $5.50? Probably. But you won't just get your way if you throw a fit. At least, like in this situation, you shouldn't. Sorry for you. Can you try it for me? I'm pitiful. You're pitiful. Employee versus employee freak out. And sometimes the insanity comes from inside. This subway employee seems to be on his last straw, screaming at one of his co-workers. He's threatening to ruin her phone, and she threatens to pay him for it. I won't ruin your phone. No, you're not gonna then you're going to pay for no, my I phone. Won't. You're going to pay for my phone. Shut the recording. You're, the, you're going to pay for my phone. Eventually, she says she's out, so he tells her to clock out, meaning he's probably the one in charge, which makes this so much worse. He's threatening to sue her for a recording, and she's only recording to keep herself safe. Get her out of here. Punch your numbers and go home. As it turns out, he's upset because she spends so much time in the bathroom due to the disability of being pregnant. He says she shouldn't be working if it's that bad. You spend more time in the goddamn bathroom. If your pregnancy is such a disability that you can't work, you don't need to be working. He continues to scream at her even after the woman clocks out. He calls the manager explaining what's going on and she continues to follow him for some reason despite being clocked out. She don't want to, she don't want to do her work. She spent every 15 minutes in the bathroom. And then That's because I'm, pre I'm pregnant, Lester. A pregnancy is not an excuse. I'm pregnant, so of course I'm going to go back and forth to the bathroom. I'm sorry, Nicole. I quit. He resumes his work, helping customers even as she walks around and continues screaming at him. Because I'm going to let her know what really went down because okay. I'm not about to lose my job over you. But I'm not, because I didn't do anything to you. Yeah, you just didn't work. Actually, I did do work. No, you didn't. 
He was definitely in the wrong for yelling at her, but she didn't need to stand around and poke at him. What do you think? Is it one of their faults, or in a way are they both in the wrong? Couple antagonizes worker until he breaks. Another example, though it's really hard to know what's going on here without the full context. This couple in the car has supposedly been waiting for their food for nearly half an hour. The man who finally brings it to the car says he's new and clearly doesn't know how to handle the situation. We've waited like 25 minutes for this food. What do you want me to do? I don't know, you're like, like work fast. Some free juice or something. Yeah, like give us some it. free food or something. Have to be money I'm new employee. No, but like, no, no, but we expect something free. Yeah. The food for free or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, give us some free food. <laughs> I think it's a joke. You want this food for free. However, they begin demanding free food, some reimbursement, or something, likely due to his initially rude behavior. This causes the man to start to act out himself as he laughs at their behavior, which eventually devolves into him eating their food because they refuse to take it without something in exchange. Zoom in on his face, what is he doing? You think he wants to be playing games with me? <laughs> wow. McDonald's. What? UK what? McDonald's. <laughs> this is this is where Corona happened. Right. What's your burger? What's your burger? He leaves and the woman goes in to complain, leaving her partner behind, who we can all hear has begun laughing at the sheer absurdity of the situation. <laughs> the two of them both seem rather incensed, but it's hard to say who's right and wrong. He probably shouldn't have taunted them, but they were rather rude, so I'd say this interaction is a wash. What about you? Listen, that pinpoint. <laughs> right here. The pressure point. It's called pressure point. Customer throws violent tantrum. Going to a fast food joint has some level of expectation that things will go wrong. Most fast food places, especially McDonald's, have their fair share of issues, whether it's because they are overworked, understaffed, or undertrained. However, this customer in the clip now is going to show what happens when some customers don't get their way. Much like a clip earlier, this woman comes rushing in, shouting about her order. Unfortunately, that's not where this ends. The employee and customer begin to get so heated that the employee loses her cool and slaps the woman across the face. It's not a hard hit, but the contact is clearly enough to set her off. She begins lunging after the woman behind the counter and the two begin to go at it. An off-duty police officer eventually steps in to help control the situation, but that's undoubtedly easier said than done. She shoves the plexiglass barrier at the staff, striking a worker. She throws everything she could get her hands on at the worker, including wet floor signs, order numbers, trash cans, and more. Another wet floor sign goes flying, lobbed at the employees before she finally leaves, heaving a promotional sign over the counter with it and leaving. She leaves without a trace, leaving police on a search for an unhinged, wild customer and no leads to follow. Armed Robbery at a McDonald's if you ever worked a food service job, you know the drill with a dangerous situation. There's no amount of money worth endangering yourself for. This man walks in, waving his weapon around in a North London McDonald's. CCTV catches him as he walks behind the bar, waving his weapon around and making the cashier show him to the back. The entire interaction gets over in less than a few minutes, from beginning to end as he collects the money from the back and runs out where he started. He reportedly made it away with about $2,000 without injuring anyone in the process. As his face and identity were obscured, it's impossible to know who it was or where they went, but it could have been worse. Starbucks Vandalized This video shows the aftermath of a Starbucks in Seattle that had been looted during a riot. The windows and glass doors of the shop had all been completely smashed in. The neon Starbucks sign was completely broken and the store had been cleaned out. After this event, many Starbucks closed their doors, not because they had slow business, but because looting, rioting, and crime in general had gotten so bad that Starbucks corporate had to deem the locations too unsafe to have employees working in. Thieves Pit Stop Gone Wrong They were excited, and you can hear them start laughing, thrilled at their new bounty. The three of them go back and forth, trying to decide exactly what to do next. Oh, nice. Let's go. <laughs> We have money to <laughs> As the girls claim to be hungry, they sped off towards the McDonald's nearby, quick to grab a bite to eat. What happened next, they definitely couldn't have seen coming. What these people didn't realize when they stole the car is that this was a bait car. This car is used by law enforcement to capture car thieves or people who steal from cars. They've been fitted with audio and visual surveillance technology as we're seeing this clip through and can be remotely monitored and controlled. Their doors and windows are locked and the engine is disabled, meaning they can't escape. This is on our radio, eh? Oh, you turned it off. Did you do? I didn't do nothing. I just turned this button. Oh yeah, we're in a bait car. 
Are we? Yeah. You're lying. You're lying. So I just get out. Tell my car to. The man in the driver's seat is quick to realize what's going on. His voice is low and calm as he informs his counterparts that they're in a bait car right as police officers surround them. Police, look your hands, hands, look your hands, 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 hands up, hands up, hands up. Hands yep. up. Yeah, I got my hands up. The thieves aren't the most compliant bunch. The two in front, a couple, are quick to drop their hands, kissing each other goodbye as they realize they're about to face the consequences of their actions. Hop out of the wheels, keep your hands straight up in the air. Give me a kiss, give me a kiss. Keep your hands up in the air. Get out of the vehicle! Right. My phone don't get out of the vehicle! We don't see the remainder of the interaction. We only hear bits and pieces as police demand that they stop clinging to each other and tell the woman they can be together later. I don't think it's a joke. You obviously do. I don't, I just you want to get my whip and kiss with the car. Yeah. 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 In all, it's a swift arrest, given the whole interaction from the stolen car to the drive through venue was about five minutes. <laughs> Starbucks worker struck by lightning. In this video, a Starbucks worker appears to be making a silly video with her friend. The worker is standing outside the store and pretending to take the person who's filming his order. Hi, what would you like to order? Can I get an ice caramel? Uh, what? The girls are laughing and joking around when suddenly a flash of lightning hits super close to the worker. Caramel! What would you like to order? An ice The girls both scream and the video cuts. It's unclear if the worker was okay because the lightning in the video did seem to strike her. Nap time at the bank. Now, admittedly, every situation is not quite so cut and dry. Sometimes you don't really know exactly what to do. This drive was found in a bank drive through in a less than ideal situation. Ma'am. Miss. Hey, wake up. While simply asleep, the officers shake to wake the woman up, but she's mostly unresponsive. The body cam catches as the officers finally jostle her awake, but she still seems unwilling to comply with them. Come out of the car. Come on. Ma'am. Come out of the car. Come on. I'll see her up. Alright. Come on. You're, you're fine. Step out of the car. Lake of police. Whether she's drunk or just dead tired is unclear. They continue trying to get her attention, but she grows increasingly belligerent, forcing her out of the car. There we go. Come on out. Take her over there. Luckily, she seems mostly okay, and they're able to continue. But imagine getting that call. No altercation, just someone passed out in the wrong place. Of course, sometimes it's a little bit more than someone passed out. Sometimes it's someone getting ready for a rude awakening. Dana, put your hands behind your back. Stop. Grease Fire Nightmare one of the scariest things you can deal with is the ones that they use to scare you for operating procedures. Do you know how to put out a grease fire? These employees didn't, at least not at first. They grabbed the wrong extinguisher which covered the fire in liquid. The next crew member tags in at this point trying to put an oily lid on top of the vat to cut the supply of oxygen off. Unfortunately this goes in at an angle, causing the fire to double in size. Finally one crew member grabs the fire extinguisher and puts it out, causing the smoke to fill the room before the camera cuts out. Karen throws tantrum at McDonald's. No matter where you are or what your business is, eventually all retail workers deal with the Karen. This woman, fed up with waiting for her food at a McDonald's, begins trashing the store and throwing things at the staff behind the counter. She starts by simply looking fed up before the clip cuts and she comes in from off camera. She throws a bucket, containers, wet floor signs, and more. All we can see are other guests trying to get away from her and the employees trying to scramble out of the line of fire. These workers are likely not paid nearly enough to deal with this level of customer misconduct and unruliness. Still, it's the reality that she's probably not the first and hardly the last. Customer literally drives through Starbucks. In this video, two Starbucks baristas stand behind the counter. There's no customers in the store and business appears to be slow, but not for long. As the baristas walk to the back kitchen area of the Starbucks, an SUV suddenly drives straight through the glass front doors of the store. It hits the counter before turning and crashing into the sidewall. Fortunately, the baristas had walked to the back at the perfect time and were out of the way when the car busted in. From the video, it appears no one was injured. However, the store was totally wrecked. The entire front counter was crushed, as well as the front and side of the store where the car had crashed through. The driver was arrested and charged with the DUI. McDonald's Escalating Altercation Sometimes CCTV catches insane things, and we're left wondering how it escalated so fast. This clip is from the Edmonton Police Service YouTube and shows what looks like a quickly escalating altercation. The woman seems to be gesturing wildly at the white SUV, which begins to back up. 
The windows are up and the person in the car is trying to get away. However, when the second man comes up, clearly trying to figure out what was going on, the person backing up, however, doesn't seem to take very kindly to the approach. He shoots something off, sending the man backward, and then quickly drives away. Luckily, they're both okay, but that was a close one. Customer chased at Starbucks. In this video, a man leaves a Starbucks, but as he's walking back to his car in the parking lot, he's chased by two other men back into the Starbucks. It's unclear why the other two men may have decided to chase this customer, but it definitely feels personal. The customer runs back inside trying to evade the other two men. He runs to the counter and hops over it, heading to the back where all the baristas are working. The two men follow him to the back of the store. The commotion frightens all the other customers and they scatter and leave the store. The workers also leave. The customer being chased tries to fight the two off, but one of them knocks him down. After knocking the customer down, the two men rush to leave the building. It appears the police may be pulling up to the scene, so they left in order to evade arrest. Dashcam Terror Sometimes people are the most terrifying thing you have to deal with. Whether at work or just trying to make it through your day, people are almost impossible to avoid entirely, especially when you're just out in the world. These kids, 14, 15, and 18, learned this the hard way. While out on a trip to grab something to eat, they were targeted seemingly at random by some thugs. Yeah, these kids are causing issues. I don't know what's happening here. Things were thrown at their car, shattering the windows and terrifying the young driver and their siblings. Yo, what the f Go, go, go. Oh, oh. Oh my god! Are you okay? Call 911! They begin to call 911, but they can't escape for long. A second item is launched at them, sending them into a frenzy as they speed off into the night to get to safety. They threw stuff in our window and tried to- Drive! 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 Hi! We're getting, we're getting chased by them. They're throwing stuff at us. They're perfectly fine. Thankfully, the driver's quick thinking got the siblings to safety. However, the attack's wreckage is unquestionable. Shattered windows and terrorized kids. No one should be afraid for their life just after grabbing a quick fast food dinner. Hopefully with that dashcam footage, deputies can investigate and catch the people from doing it all over again.